nothing of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me. You know my soul cries out, hallelujah. I thank God for saving me. Oh, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all salvation as a light thing. Mm -hmm. It's a necessary thing. Yeah. And uh, our being delivered through Christ Jesus, he paid the price yeah. for each and every one of us, a precious price. Yeah. The Bible says that we weren't redeemed by the corruptible things, but with the precious blood of Jesus. Amen. And we thank and praise the Lord for his precious blood. And for that, we're going to redeem the time, make yeah. every, every moment and every day count. Because no man knows the hour or the day when the Lord will come and snatch our soul away. Right. So as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, let us remember men and women and children everywhere mm -hmm. that the Lord will continue to save and add to the church daily such as should be saved. Yeah. Also, uh, remember all the bereaved families, yeah. um, not only at this congregation, but throughout the world mm -hmm. and everywhere. There's somebody uh, that is grieving, somebody needs help. So let us pray that uh, also, too, that uh, this pandemic will be uh, controlled and calmed down and rebuked in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. And let us pray that he, the Lord will keep us safe. Uh, the thought um, that always comes through my mind, uh, and, I, and, I, and I keep that thought in my mind about uh, dwelling in the land of Goshen <laughs> uh, during this famine and this pandemic. Uh, that land of Goshen is where the, uh, the Jews uh, dwelt in while they were down in Egypt, mm -hmm. and they dwelt safely. Mm -hmm. So we pray that the Lord will keep us in that land, uh, watch over us, <laughs> so that uh, when death comes, they'll see the blood yes. and pass over us. Amen. So let us pray also for our Bible study on tonight. There's something be said or done to inspire us and to encourage our hearts. Yeah. And that the Lord will bless us on all occasions, uh, financially, spiritually, mm -hmm. and also physically. Yeah. Uh, are there any other prayer requests? Pray for my children. Yes. I will save them. Yes, Pray Lord. Pray for the man, woman, boy, and girl in all walks of life and bring yeah. the body of Christ everywhere. Yes, amen. <laughs> amen. We have an also an unspoken amen. prayer request. Amen. The Lord knows our heart, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And we certainly will pray. Mm -hmm. Let us pray. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we certainly thank you, Lord, for your anointing. Thank you, we thank you for gathering us together one more time. You, we ask you, Lord, that you open up our understanding, that you give us wisdom and knowledge in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord, that you bless each and every request that's been made known to you, Lord. We make it known because we know that you're the mountain mover that you're the burden bearer and the heavy load sharer, that nothing is too hard for you. And we ask you, Lord, that you bless our children, bless our loved ones. Remember men and women and children everywhere. Lord, you save and add to the church daily such as should be saved. Remember each other, other uh, unspoken request yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes, and now, Lord, we pray that you grant the door of utterance, open up our hearts and our minds and our spirit in the name of Jesus. 
Bless those that have tuned in to us on today and those that will continue to watch throughout this, this, this time. Bless Father, we thank you and we thank praise you. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. 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 We certainly do want to go back uh, to the book of Ephesians. The book of Ephesians um, chapter number three. Amen. Chapter number three, we're halfway through. The Lord is making a way for us. Yeah. And, <laughs> and uh, what, what, what we love about this book is the fact that um, God is making known unto us the mystery of his will. Yes. And letting us know how precious we are to him. Mm -hmm. One thing that the Lord has showed me, uh, he had dealt with me, uh, I don't know, probably now about a, six months ago to a year, um, that the enemy beats up the saints. Yeah. And um, God wants the saints to be built up Amen. and wants the saints to be encouraged. Mm -hmm. And um, in order to do that, um, you have to really get into God's word and receive it unto yourself and apply it to yourself. And don't look at God as an enemy. Don't look at the way of holiness as being hard. But look at it as God uh, wanting the best for you. When God originally delivered the children out of Israel, I mean out of Egypt, when he brought them out, he brought them out, the Bible says, with a high hand unto himself. And he literally says that he bore them on eagle's wings. And uh, then he said, I'm giving you my laws so that literally they may bless you so that they may help you. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why God's word is written unto us, to help us so that we can be able to prosper and inherit the blessings of God, mm -hmm. so that we can live a holy and righteous life, mm -hmm. not necessarily to benefit God, but to benefit us. Yes. Amen? God wants to benefit us. Amen. God wants us to be benefited by his word. Mm -hmm. So as we look here in the book of Ephesians, uh, chapter number three and verse number one. Uh, uh, Pastor Duck, will you read for me on today? Mm -hmm. Amen. For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ, for you Gentiles, mm -hmm. if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which is given me toward to you, mm -hmm. how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote afore in, in few words. All right. So he's saying here, uh, Paul is saying, he's actually con continuing his thought in chapter number two, uh, how in the saints of God are built up, how we are built up in Christ and, and uh, on the foundation of the prophets and the apostles. And um, uh, so he's furthering his cause. Uh, read that verse number one again, what does it say? For this cause I call uh -huh. the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles. Now notice how he's describing himself mm -hmm. for this cause. What cause? The cause of spreading the gospel uh, to the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Notice how he calls himself a prisoner mm -hmm. uh, because he's literally in bonds to this thing. Mm -hmm. And he's literally hazarding his life because at this time when this epistle was written, um, it would be blasphemy. Uh, for people to uh, uh, allow the Gentiles to come in to salvation, mm -hmm. to open the doors of the church, so to speak, mm -hmm. to allow the Gentiles to come in mm -hmm. because there was a separation between Jews and Gentiles. Yeah. So Paul is saying that the trials and the tribulations that I'm going through, um, uh, I'm hazarding my life for the benefit of you mm -hmm. uh, so that you can be benefited uh, and he wants us to be benefited by his trials and tribulations and how he has hazarded his life. Yes. All right, verse number two, what does it say? If ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, uh -huh. which is given me to you. Now notice, he's talking about the dispensation of the grace of God. Mm -hmm. Dispensation means a time period wherein God deals with man. Mm -hmm. And there's many dispensations. The first dispensation was the dispensation of innocence, where, uh, dealing with Adam and Eve. And then when Adam and Eve sinned, then they enter into a dispensation 
of the law, where the law came in through Moses, and they had to live by the law. Now we're in a dispensation of grace, wherein God is saying, uh, I'm saving you through grace, uh, not of works, which the law was. The yeah. law was works, yeah. but not of works, lest any man should boast. Yeah. So now we're in the time of dispensation uh, of grace, which was in ushered in by Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. him dying on the cross. You, by grace are you saved through faith. Faith where? In Christ. Yeah. Christ Jesus. So he says, read that verse 2 again, what's it say? If, Hallelujah. If ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, uh -huh. which is given me to you. Now notice, he's saying God has given me uh, this knowledge of, of the mystery of grace. And he's given me this knowledge of the dispensation of grace for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. To benefit you. Yeah. Remember, uh, in the very beginning, God, uh, in the very beginning of this epistle, uh, God uh, had uh, plans for us. Mm -hmm. God predestinated us. He preordained us. And that he brought all the blessings for us. And he has blessed us in, 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 in spiritual places, in heavenly places, yeah. in Christ Jesus. And he has given us all things, mm -hmm. the Bible says, that pertain unto light and godliness. Mm -hmm. And those things were here at one time, but are made known them to us at this time that we may be partakers of it. Yeah. See, that's the blessing. Uh, uh, we are par partakers of the promises of God. Yeah. We are partakers of the blessings of God. Yeah. Amen? Hallelujah. At one time, the Bible says we were without hope, yeah. uh, without Christ in yeah. this world. Yeah. But we are made nigh now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Yeah. That not only are we heirs, but we're joint heirs. Yeah. Amen. With Christ. We got exceeding great riches uh, in Christ Jesus. Yeah. And this is what Paul is, is letting us to know. Read that verse 2 again. If ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, uh -huh. which is given me to you. Read. How that by revelation he made known unto me uh -huh. the mystery. Uh -huh. As I wrote afore in few words. All right, Paul, this ain't the first epistle that Paul has written. Paul has written many epistles. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. But notice what he said. Read that verse 3 again. How that by revelation uh -huh. he made known unto me the mystery. All right, now mm -hmm. notice. It's a mystery mm -hmm. uh, which, which was hid. Mm -hmm. uh, and all these things were hid until the fullness of time, mm -hmm. which we're living in now. We're living in now the fullness of time where these revelations or these mysteries are being made known. Yes. And, and Paul received this mystery when, uh, when God, uh, when Christ uh, met with him on the road of Damascus. Y'all remember that, don't you? And he got knocked off his beast. And he said, who art thou, Lord? And Jesus revealed himself. He said, I'm Jesus, the, the one whom you're persecuting. And, and then uh, Paul, as you know, I'm not going to go into the whole story, but he got saved. Mm -hmm. And then the Bible says that he went to Arabia mm -hmm. and he spent three years there. Mm -hmm. Why did he spend three years there? To attain unto this revelation. Mm -hmm. And when he received the fullness of the revelation, he said, I'm determined not to know anything among you. I say, Jesus Christ and him crucified. Amen. So from that all point on, he begins to preach Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah, the hope of glory. Amen. Christ, our deliverer. Yeah. Christ, our salvation. Yeah. Uh, he said, in him we live mm -hmm. and move and have our being. Mm -hmm. So that was the mystery that was being made known that has, uh, had opened up to each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. uh, read that verse 3 again. We're in Ephesians chapter number uh, uh, 3 and verse 3. What does it say? How that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, uh -huh. as I wrote afore in few words. All right, read. Whereby, when you read, yes. you may understand my knowledge uh -huh. in the mystery of Christ. So it's very important for us to read the word of God, especially the epistles. The, the gospels were written uh, primarily for sinners to get them saved mm -hmm. and also to build up our faith. But the epistles is primarily for the saints of God so that we may know how to possess our vessels uh, in sanctification and in honor. Yes. 
so that we may uh, understand what we have in Christ Jesus. Know how we're saved and know how to live saved. Amen? In this present world. And also know how to share our faith so that others may be get, so that others may uh, become saved. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Now, uh, the problem is, is that a lot of people don't value what they have. True. Amen? Because if they truly valued what they have, they wouldn't give it up. Amen? Amen? So Amen. readily and so easily. Uh, um, you don't understand, a lot of people don't understand the victory that they have over the devil mm -hmm. uh, and over their flesh mm -hmm. when they receive the Holy Ghost, yeah. when they receive the power of God, yeah. when they mix that power uh, uh, with the word and with prayer and with obedience to that word. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a change that takes place. Yes, there's power that happens. Amen. Amen. You've been translated not into any kingdom, but to the kingdom of God's dear son, yes. the kingdom of Jesus Christ, Amen. and wherein you have access uh, to everything that you need. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Everything. Yes. Hallelujah. And God makes sure that you receive what you need in your hour of need. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We ought to thank God for the Holy Ghost. We ought to thank God for his anointing. We ought to thank God for what we have in Christ Jesus. And, and you, your study of the scripture, it gives you that wisdom and that knowledge. Amen? God does not want us to be ignorant. Paul said that. I would have you not ignorant, brother. <laughs> Don't be ignorant. Uh, we were one time darkness, but now we're light. We were one time ignorant, but now we are, have been enlightened. Amen? By the word of God. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. When you understand this thing, this word becomes quick and powerful mm -hmm. and sharper than any two-edged sword. Yes, you got power to tread upon serpents yeah, and scorpions. Yeah, Amen? You got power to lay hands. Hallelujah. Amen? You got power to call those things as though they were not as though they were. Yeah. Amen? You got power. Uh, you can call down legions of angels mm -hmm. and they will help you. Amen? Amen? Amen. Hallelujah, my God. You got empowered to encourage yourself yes. in the Lord. Yes. Uh, lift up your bow down head. Hallelujah. Strengthen your feeble knees. Yes. Amen? Yes. And, and, and this grace that has been given unto us, even when you experience hardship, you can call on Jesus and that, uh, that hardship can be alleviated by that grace. Yes. Amen? That is in Christ Jesus. Uh, people that go through trials and tribulations without Christ, they lose their mind. Mm -hmm. Amen? But those that are in Christ Jesus, mm -hmm. those that know the word, and, and, and my God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, uh, you, can, you can be in Christ mm -hmm. and go through something and not really be thinking about Christ, but the Holy Ghost will move upon you. Yeah. <laughs> the word will be a, a stir up in you. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, and bring things back to your remembrance. Amen. Hallelujah. Bring the testimonies of God back to your remembrance. Amen. Bring the, the power and the might of God yeah. back to your remembrance. Yeah. And, and without you thinking about it, you'll have joy unspeakable, mm -hmm. and, and it'll be full of glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. It'll change your heart. It'll yeah. change your mind. Hallelujah. That's, that's why we got to read God's word. That's why we got to study the word of God and hide it within us. Yeah. That's why we got to meditate, uh, that the Bible says, on the word of God day and night, night and day. Yeah. Amen. Hide that word in your heart so that you don't sin against God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. My God, if you're not reading God's word every day, you out of order. <laughs> you got to read this word every day. Thank you, Lord. Every day, you got to take your medicine. <laughs> All right, what verse we in? We in Ephesians chapter 3 and verse number 5. What does it say? Which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, uh -huh. as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. Now, what Paul is saying here is that talking about this mystery, the mystery of the gospel of Jesus Christ. The, 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 the Christ in you, the hope of glory. Yeah. 
Amen? Uh, uh, salvation, the dispensation of grace. Uh, read five again, what does it say? Which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men. Now notice, uh, uh, and that sons of men there is uh, referring to Isaiah, not Isaiah, uh, Elisha. Amen? He referred to himself as the son of man. Amen? Mm -hmm. and, and that term uh, is representing uh, the Old Testament prophets. Yeah. Now, notice, uh, he said, which in other ages was not made known. Amen? Mm -hmm. uh, under the Old Covenant, under the Old Testament, uh, uh, Christ was hidden. Amen? It was, a, it was a type and a shadow. And when Jesus came, he, he opened up and revealed the shadow. Amen? A shadow is something cast by something tangible. And Jesus is that which was tangible that was casting the shadow. Amen? Uh, and when he came, he revealed himself. Hallelujah. That then the mystery of Christ in you, the hope of glory. I keep saying that because I want you to get that in your spirit. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now notice, he said, which in ages was not known unto men, unto the sons of men. Read. Unto the sons of men, uh -huh. as it is now revealed unto his One holy moment. apostles okay. uh -huh. and prophets by the Spirit. Yes. Now he says, as it is made known now unto uh, who? Unto his holy, holy, unto the holy apostles uh -huh. and prophets yes. by the Spirit. Now notice. Now he says, this mystery is now revealed, Jesus Christ, bringing about salvation, bringing about deliverance. Jesus is everything. Yes. Amen? He says, now that is uh, revealed, and it was revealed by the holy apostles. Yes. The apostles, that word apostles means messengers, mm -hmm. one that's sent out with a message. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like the way he's saying it, the holy apostles, yes. because they brought out a new message about Jesus Christ. Amen? That's why they're apostles. Uh, because they laid the foundation of what they received from Christ. Yes. And the criteria for them to be an apostle, uh, they had to have firsthand knowledge of the message through Jesus. They're talking about these, these uh, uh, the, the, the first 12 apostles. Amen? They had to be uh, received the uh, message of Jesus firsthand. They had to have uh, 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 been taught by him. Amen? And, and they were uh, taught a doctrine. Amen? That's why we call ourselves apostolic. Why? Because we adhere to the apostles' doctrine. Yes. Amen? Amen? Thank you, Lord. And notice, uh, and also, it has to be revealed uh, also by the prophets, by the Spirit. Yes. Here, this word prophet means New Testament prophets. Uh, not Old Testament prophets, but New Testament prophets. And in Ephesians chapter number 6, he brings that out. He said, that they, he said uh, uh, talks about the fivefold ministry. He gave some, up, and he, meaning Jesus Christ, he gave some apostles, uh, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers. For what? The perfecting of the saints, the work of the ministry, amen? The edification, the building up of the body of Christ. That's what the New Testament prophets ought to be doing, amen? Hallelujah. They should be building up. They should be encouraging the saints, amen? Hallelujah, so that we can walk worthy of this vocation wherewith we've been called. Earlier I said, you know, the enemy likes to beat us down. Amen? And we oftentimes beat ourselves down. <laughs> I often say, when, if a police officer were to walk in this uh, building with his uniform, we say to ourselves, what have we done? Uh, when people call you, they call you, hey, Pastor Duck, I want you to come to my office. First thing she'd think of, what do I do now? <laughs> uh, what trouble have I started? See, we, we, have the, we all have that tendency, amen, to think negative. And, and because we think negative, sometimes we think that we're unworthy. 
uh, that we can't do it. Uh, and, and to live holy, uh, I want you to hear me right now. To live holy is a high honor. Uh, there's people out there that will tell you, you can't stop sinning. Uh, they will tell you, you can't live holy. Uh, my God. But, but that negates the, the, the power that is in Christ Jesus. That negates why he died on the cross. And if he got up with all power, uh, and he shares that power with you, isn't that power sufficient for you to live a godly life? Uh, to resist the temptations of the devil, to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Hallelujah, my God. Isn't what, if God predestinated you, uh, preordained you, and he's given you these great and precious promises, aren't they, aren't what God has given you enough, yes. hallelujah, for you to resist temptation, Amen. to be not conformed, but to be what? Transformed by what? The renewing of your mind. If God said, be holy, for I am holy, don't you think that he's given you the necessary tools to accomplish that? Yeah. Um, God is not a man that he should lie, mm -hmm. uh, nor the son of man that he should repent. Mm -hmm. I mean, what God has said and what God has meant through his holy word, hallelujah, we can attain it. Yeah. We can accomplish it. Through Christ Jesus. Yes. The word is not spoken to us in vain. That it says that you can do all things. Mm -hmm. huh? All things. All things, uh, all things through who? Christ. Christ that does what? Right. Strength. He gives you the strength. Yes. Uh, not of your own might. Not of your own power. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to let go and let go. Yes. Tell your neighbor, let go and let go. Let go. Uh, you can do this thing. Yes. Hallelujah. And that's what Paul is encouraging the people and letting them know. What verse we in? Six. Six. Read. read. That the Gentiles should be fe fellow heirs uh -huh. and of the same body. Yes. And partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel. Now notice what he's saying there. Take that in for a small moment. God is revealing to you this mystery. Amen. And, he's, and he gave it to the apostles and to the prophets. Uh, and, and to encourage you. And, and he's giving it to you. Verse number six, read that again. What does it say? That the Gentiles should be fellow heirs. Now notice that you should be a fellow heir. And fellow heir with the Jews. Amen. Uh, the, the ones whom God had given the promise to. Now, now I say this, I say this, and I say it uh, um, uh, respectfully. Um, when you don't know what you have, you won't value what you got. That's right. Amen. We've got something precious. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. We got something that's that's worth something. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I, I can't now I'm gonna just say it this way. I can't wait to get to heaven uh, to, to walk on the gold and see all that which God has and things like that. And and I want that. But I want also what God has for me now. <laughs> I, I, I don't have to wait. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and, and I can experience the grace of God. Yeah. Yeah. I can experience the blessings of the Lord Amen. that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. No sorrow. Hallelujah. By God. Yeah. Hallelujah. By God. So when rich people get rich, they got a whole lot of sorrow. Yeah. Uh, but when God, when God makes his people rich, Huh? He takes away the sorrow. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It, it means something. Yeah. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. It means something. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. My God, it means something. Yeah. To, to have the peace of God mm -hmm. uh, that passes all understanding. Yes. Hallelujah. That will keep your heart. Mm -hmm. That will keep your mind. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We can experience these things. Yeah. Yeah. Am I right? Amen. Uh, you ain't got to wait till the battle is over. No. <laughs> you can shout now. Right now. You can give God glory now. Right now. Hallelujah, my God. And you know, the way the scriptures are written and the way God has done this thing, once you get into Christ Jesus, you already got eternal life. Right uh, you're not waiting for eternal life. Uh, you're already abiding in eternal life. Right Amen. Right Hallelujah, my God. All right, read that verse again. Verse number six, what does it say? That the Gentiles should be fellow heirs 
Uh -huh. And of the same body. Now notice, fellow heirs, thank you Lord, of, of the same body, of the body of Christ. Amen? Mm -hmm. uh, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. There's one body, hallelujah, and that body is Jesus. Am I right? Yeah. Huh? So that we can be one. Yeah. Amen? Right. Hallelujah. Jesus is something. I, I'm reminded, he said, he said, I want you to have the, my, my joy. Mm -hmm. huh? Jesus' joy. Yeah. Amen? My peace. Mm -hmm. Jesus' peace. Yes. Amen? Yeah. Dwelling on the inside. Yeah. Hallelujah. He said, I wrote these commandments unto you so that you can have peace. Mm -hmm. uh, the peace that is in Christ Jesus. Yeah. So that you can have joy. The joy that is where? In Christ Jesus. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Jesus said, uh, 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 he talks about tribulation. He said, in the world, you're going to have tribulation. Mm -hmm. But in me, you're going to have peace. Yeah. Amen? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. My God, I enjoy peace. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I enjoy the love of Christ. Amen. Uh, that, that, that is shed abroad in our heart mm -hmm. by the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. How many enjoy the anointing, Amen. the power of God? Yeah. Amen? It makes a difference. Yeah. Amen? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I want y'all to be standing up on y'all head. <laughs> Give it a shot. Thank you, Lord. Because this thing is real. Yes. Amen. Yes. This thing is real. this thing real? Yes, it is. Thank yes. you, Lord. Hallelujah. All right, we're, first, we're in Ephesians. Ephesians chapter number 3 and verse number 6. All right? That Re the Gentiles should be fellow heirs uh -huh. and of the same body. Yes. And partakers of his promise in Christ. Now notice, we gonna be we should be partakers of the promises that are in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. So everything that our Jewish brethren inherited, we inherited. Mm -hmm. Amen. All the promises. There's no difference. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all with me? Amen. Thank you, Lord. We we have we have everything that this book talks about. Uh, uh, these 66 books talks about and it talks about the promises mm -hmm. and it talks about the power it talks about the anointing yeah. it talks about the faith mm -hmm. amen everything uh, it talks about uh, resurrection amen mm -hmm. it talks about healing it talks about deliverance yeah. it talks about protection everything mm -hmm. uh, you're not keeping yourself no. uh, God is keeping you yeah. God is watching over you Amen. God, God is giving you faith. Uh, you don't have faith of yourself. Uh, you got God gives you a measure of faith to believe. You don't have hope by yourself. Uh, it's God that gives you hope. Uh, hallelujah. My God. And, and all of those are promises of God. Amen. Hallelujah. And and those promises you have access to. I was I was in my in my I can say this. In my, uh, 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 Lord have mercy, in my, I don't want to say immature state, mm -hmm. but but I was naive. There you go. That's, see, the Holy Ghost help you out with words. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in my naive state, mm -hmm. I said, well, God, you've given me these promises, and I want to know what they are. So I start searching them out. Mm -hmm. And the more I start getting into it, the, the more I start searching them out, the more I found to when I got tired. <laughs> I got overwhelmed. Uh, I said, oh man, I got a whole bunch of promises. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. They're unsearchable. Uh, when you find one, you find ten more. <laughs> Hallelujah. My God. You can't, you can't search out and number all the promises that you have uh, in God. I don't believe there's a book written uh, that can contain all the promises that God has made unto us. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. And when, when we, when we uh, experience one promise, he'll turn around and make a whole new promise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. My God. All right. So, so we are connected to those promises mm -hmm. uh, in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Uh, notice, uh, by the gospel, by the gospel, mm -hmm. by the gospel, yeah. the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen? That's that good news that, that Jesus died, buried, and was rose again. Amen? And that, not only that, but the gospel justifies us. 
It declares us righteous and holy. Yeah. I wish I had time to go into that. Uh, Romans, the book of Romans, especially the first five chapters of the book of Romans, bears out justification by faith. Amen. How Jesus died on the cross for us and he justified us to declare us holy, declare us righteous. And in a nutshell, just in a nutshell, the Bible talks about uh, 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 grace and mercy uh, and, and peace. Uh, it's by the grace of God that we're saved. Amen? And it's through God's grace that God can have mercy upon us. And when God has mercy upon us, uh, we experience God's peace. Yes. Amen? Thank you, Lord. So I don't, have, I don't have the time to go into all of that, but that's, that's within the gospel, mm. the good news, the justification. Mm. Amen? And then the gospel uh, deals with our sanctification. Amen. That's why I call it, uh, he's in the, uh, 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 Paul says, he talks about putting on the whole armor of God. Amen. So that you can be able to do what? Stand. Amen. And, and then he says, uh, have your feet shod with the preparation of what? The gospel. Because that preparation of the gospel of peace, uh, your feet, uh, it, it represents your very foundation. Amen. By which you stand. Amen. Hallelujah. So it's through the gospel of Jesus Christ is why we're standing yeah. uh, holy and righteous uh, uh, with God. Amen. Uh, when we were when we were sinners, we were God's enemy. Amen. Mm -hmm. And we were aliens and, and strangers and foreigners for the promise. Uh, but through the gospel of Jesus Christ, by faith, we're no longer aliens, but we're joint heirs. Amen to all the promises. You see what I'm saying? Uh, it's the legal document that gives you the power to uh, attain those things that God has for you. Amen? And it's all accomplished through Jesus Christ. Y'all with me? Hallelujah. I took time out to explain that because you got to know why you're standing. Uh, you got to know uh, uh, because the enemy can attack you. Uh, and if you don't know that, that you're saved, uh, uh, by grace because you believe in Jesus you've been bought with a price uh, the blood of Jesus cleanses you from all unrighteousness yeah. am I right? Yeah. Uh, and if you plead that blood that blood can wash you yeah. uh, wash your mind, your spirit and your soul yeah. and when you repent you receive the gospel tells you that you receive the gift of the Holy Ghost yeah. uh, which gives you power which translates you into the kingdom of God's dear son. Uh, that means something. So when the enemy comes up against you, uh, like a flood, uh, you can call on Jesus. Uh, hey, you can call on the Lord. Uh, and then when you call on the name of the Lord, you got power. Uh, you got rights. Uh, hey, glory. Uh, don't let nobody take, around, take away your right. Amen. Don't let the devil confuse you. Hallelujah. May trick you up. Uh, make you think you're worthless. Uh, when God said uh, you're, 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 you're worthy. Amen. Hallelujah. So that means something. Thank you, Jesus. Well, read what verse we in? Seven. In verse seven. All right, read. What's it say? Whereof I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God. Given unto me by the effectual working of his power. Now, now, now this is a very important statement here. Paul's saying, uh, he's writing this epistle to gain us understanding of what we have in Christ Jesus. Amen? Because um, um, the Bible says, uh, it tells us in the book of uh, Proverbs, uh, in all thy getting, get what? Understanding. Understand. And he said, my people perish for a lack of what? Knowledge. Knowledge. Amen? Thank you, Lord. And Paul said that, that, that I don't want my labor to be in vain. And God made me a minister or a servant for you. This same word minister, it equates to what a deacon is. A deacon is a servant. Amen? A minister. And Paul is saying that uh, God has made me a minister for you. I'm your servant 
to do what? To open up your understanding about Jesus. Amen? If, if, you don't, if you don't notice, the Bible says grace and peace is multiplied to you through the knowledge of God and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. A lot of times people don't have peace because they don't know about Jesus. A lot Because life has a way of knocking you down. Amen. But Jesus has a way of picking you up. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's the opposite. Amen. Hallelujah. And when you know that you got a hope in God. Amen. When you know about Jesus, then the grace of Jesus can be ministered to you. The peace that is in Jesus can be ministered to you. It's like how, how we're trying to inoculate ourselves uh, about this pandemic. Amen. Why? Because there's a virus out there we don't want to catch. Am I right? Thank you, Lord. Jesus is a virus that you do want to catch. <laughs> you follow what I'm saying? Uh, and if you catch him, thank you, Lord, you'll live forever. You'll experience what's in him for you. Amen? So Paul is saying, uh, verse number seven, read that again. Whereof I was made a minister. Uh-huh. Now, I, I, I was made a minister, meaning that I, I went through some things uh, so, that, so that I can minister unto you. I was made a minister, read. According to the gift of the grace of God, uh -huh. given unto me yes. by the effectual working of this power. Now Paul is saying, I didn't call myself to this duty. Mm -hmm. uh, I was anointed for this duty uh, at, by the grace of God. Now notice that word, uh, effectual working. Meaning, that, meaning that, that I can be effective in my ministry. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm a, Paul is saying, God has anointed me to be effective in my ministry for you. Now, the only way that he can be effective in his ministry for you is that if you receive of his words. Amen? If you apply what he's saying, if you believe. The only way Jesus can benefit your life You've got to believe in him and his words. Amen. Words have power. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Words can transform you. Yes. Words can make you cry. Mm -hmm. Words can get you angry. Mm -hmm. Words can shut you down. Mm -hmm. Words can make you fight. Yes. Amen? Yes. Words can encourage you. Yes. Amen? Yes. Hallelujah. That's why we've got to receive the words of Jesus Christ. Huh? He said, the words that I speak unto you are what? Spirit and life. And he said, you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Amen? Hallelujah. And that word that, that comes from God, the word even that you're receiving now. That's why I talk, when I preach and teach, I say a lot of scripture. Amen? Because that's what's effective. Amen? I gotta be honest with you. Can I be honest with you? I, uh, I, I think a, a lot of you have been with me for some years, amen. And and I think about it. I was thinking about it in the office today when I was going over this lesson. That 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 uh, has the messages, has the preaching of the word benefited you to wherein you're able to stand, amen. Uh, that means something. Did, did, did the preaching down through the years help get you over the hump? Uh, did, it, did it give you the strength and encouragement that you needed to persevere? Amen? That's what the word is given unto us. To help us to persevere. To build us up. Amen? To carry us through. Amen? Now, I'm not a fool. I, I know that there's uh, we sit under a lot of preachers, sit under a lot of teachers, and your self-study helps you as well. Amen. Come on there, somebody. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. But, but, but you know, I want to be effective. Amen. Pastor Duck wants to be effective. Amen. When you witness and talk to people, you want to be effective. Amen. And the only way to be effective is to mix that word with the grace of God. Amen. 
Uh, allow the grace of God, allow the anointing of God to abide in you so that you can speak the words of life, so that people can be transformed, yes. so that people can be renewed, so that people can be strong in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen? And in the power of the might. Amen. Now, in order for people to be that, they have to believe what you say. Amen? Amen? Amen. Don't, don't, don't fool yourself. Uh, people can reject this word. I don't care how anointed you are. There were people that rejected Jesus. Amen. He was anointed. Wasn't he anointed? He said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Anointed. Huh? But there were some that walked away. Huh? Thank you, Lord. And Jesus didn't get upset with them. Huh? He said, look to his other 12 and said, will you also go? <laughs> Hallelujah. And he noticed what Peter said. Where shall we go? Why? Because you alone have the words of life. Yeah. Amen. It's important hallelujah, that you have this word of life. Right. Listen, Jesus said himself, huh, the Bible says in the book of John, huh, uh, in the beginning was the what? The word. Huh? The word was with God. The word was God. And in the beginning, amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. And when it means that Jesus was the title of being the word of God. Yeah. Huh? And notice. And the word was what? Made flesh and did what? Dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. The glory of the only begotten of the Father. Yeah. Notice that word is full of what? Grace. Mm -hmm. It's full of what? Truth. Yeah. Amen. That's what you need in order to survive. Amen. You need some grace Amen. that comes through the word of God. Amen. You need the truth. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you know the truth, the truth will set you free. Uh, free from what? The hand of the enemy. Mm -hmm. Free from what? The attack of the devil. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why you got to have that word. Amen. Uh, hey, glory. That's why that word is effective. Yes. Amen? Yeah. But you got to believe. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and I got to say this so that people won't get me wrong. Just having a knowledge of the word and saying, I believe that this Bible is true is not belief. What God calls belief goes back to what the scripture says, faith without works is dead. Yeah. So what God says, if you, if this is the test, the acid test uh, that, that shows your belief, that you hear the word and obey. Huh? And obey. Thank you, Lord. That's, that shows that you believe when you obey what is written. Amen? Not that you heard it and understand it, but that you obey it. Yes. Amen? Yes. Notice um, the Shema prayer. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy might, and with all thy strength. Amen? Yes. And it says that these words uh, which, which are spoken to you shall be in thy heart. Amen? You do what's in your heart. Amen? And when I mean heart, I don't talk about your blood pumper. I'm talking about what's in your mind. Amen? Uh, uh, let me, ooh, got to go back a little further. Your mind is your, your conscience. Your heart is the seat of your affection. Amen? And you do what's in your heart. You don't do everything that comes to your mind. At least I hope you don't. <laughs> but, but you do everything that enters into your heart. Amen? Uh, that's why when Jesus taught us, he said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaking. Amen? Thank you, Lord. You do what goes into your heart. So you've got to allow this word to be like a seed that penetrates and buries itself in your heart so that in the process of time, it will germinate and bring forth fruit. Amen? Somebody say, teach Pastor Queen. Hallelujah, my God. Hallelujah. I feel like a scholar up here. Hallelujah. You got to let it. Amen. You got to let it. That's why the word says, let this mind uh, be in you, which is in, also in Christ Jesus. You got to allow it. Amen. And when it talks about let it, means that you, you, you can't fight against it. Amen. Don't fight against the word of God. That, remember when he told Paul, Paul, he, uh, Jesus told Paul, he said, he said, uh, uh, 
before he changed his name to Saul. Oh no, his name was Saul before he changed his name to Paul. He said, it's hard for thee to do what? Kick against the pricks. Uh, meaning, meaning that the uh, I have called you uh, into this to holiness and to righteousness. And 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 you're trying to buck up against it. Uh, he says it's hard for you to kick against that. Uh, the pricks were uh, it was a it was a, a gold, a, a long pole that had uh, spikes at the end of it. And they wanted to get the ox to move, so they put the pole down there, so when the ox get to kicking it, it kicks against those pricks, which makes the ox move. Amen? So that's what Jesus was telling Paul, that it's hard for you to kick against that which is right, to kick against what that is holy. Just accept it. Be holy, for I am holy. Let this mind uh, be in you. Amen? Uh, resist the, the resist the devil, and he will flee. Submit yourself to God. Yeah. Uh, come on here, somebody. Y'all yeah. with me? Yeah. Uh, just have, just exhale and release, yeah. and let God be God. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, let God be God. Uh, don't you try to be God? Uh, don't let anybody else try to be God in your life. Let God be God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Let Him. Hallelujah, have the preeminence. Yeah. Release. Yeah. Amen? Yes. Hallelujah. So, so let this mind, mm -hmm. huh? let this word mm -hmm. be in your heart. Yeah. Allow it to dwell in you. Mm -hmm. Amen? If you're going to wrestle, wrestle with it doing right. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Bring your body under subjection. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. Let, don't, allow, don't allow your thoughts to go everywhere. Mm -hmm. Amen? Hallelujah. My God, I was talking to a guy today, and uh, um, I, didn't, I didn't really um, have a whole lot of time that I wanted to speak with him, so I cut to the chase. Um, I told him, I said, man, the reason why you're feeling like you're feeling, you're letting all your negative thoughts enter into your heart and into your mind, and, and that's what's causing this atmosphere that you're, you're going through in your mind. I said, you got to think positive. Yeah. Uh, turn that situation around. Put some, mingle it with some hope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My God. And, and when you do that, it changes your atmosphere. Yeah. It changes your environment. Yeah. It changes your perspective. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. I just gave a thousand dollar worth of counseling in two or three minutes. <laughs> My God. Y'all follow what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, think on these things. Whatsoever things are lovely. Whatsoever things are honest. Whatsoever things are just. Amen? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. If there be any praise in it, yeah. huh, think on these things. Yeah. That's what we got to do. Man. Think on the word of God mm -hmm. and allow it to penetrate your heart. Believe it to where you act on it. Mm -hmm. Amen? <laughs> Hallelujah. That's important. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. My God. Uh, uh, what verse we here, Pastor? Verse 8. All right, verse 8. What does it say? Unto me, who am less than the least of all saints, uh -huh. is the grace is this grace given? Now Paul called himself the least because uh, he persecuted the saints. Uh, thank you, Lord. That always haunted Paul because he persecuted the saints. He put he was consenting unto their death, so he called himself the least of the saints. Read that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. Now notice, notice what he called it: the unsearchable what riches. riches. Of who? Christ. Christ. Meaning that's, remember when I told you earlier, I was trying to find out these promises? Mm -hmm. I got lost. Mm -hmm. uh, why? Because they're unsearchable. Yeah. Amen? There's, there's things that, that I'm going to be honest with you, that uh, if you spend a lifetime walking with Jesus, there's still things you will not know. Right. Uh, levels that you won't reach. Because right. he's so deep. <laughs> Hallelujah, my God. Uh, it's unsearchable. His greatness is unsearchable. Greatness is unsearchable. Amen. He's greater. Yes. Amen. Yeah. And as soon as you line it up in your mind how great he is, he's greater than that. That's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, and then when, when you experience his greatness, uh, he's still greater than that. Uh, you follow me? Hallelujah. And this. This, this, what I'm giving you on today.
today. It needs to be in your heart. Amen. So if it is in your heart, you can meet every test. You can meet every trial. You can meet every disappointment. You can meet every hurt. Amen. You can meet every win. Huh? Thank you, Lord. You may say, well, why do you say meet every win? Because sometimes when we win, we get high-minded. <laughs> huh? You follow me? Thank you, Lord. We, 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 we think above ourselves. Huh? When we, and that grace is there to humble us. <laughs> hey! Hey! Oh, humble you. Keep us humble. Yeah. And know, uh, we, we'll recognize where our blessing comes from. That's right. Amen? That's what Paul said when he met. He said, I know how to be abound, and I know how to be a base. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I know. Yeah. Uh, I know in whom I trust. Yeah. Uh, you got to know in whom you trust. Yeah. You got to know in whom you believe. Yeah. Uh, you got to know what power that, that lies within. Yeah. Uh, you got to know that when I tap into this, there's something greater. Yeah. Uh, when it says greater is he, that is in you, huh? that he that is in the world, he need that greater. Hey, hallelujah. Greater. There's a greater anointing. There's a greater power. There's a greater, hey, there's a greater strength. Amen. Hallelujah. When you think that you hit rock bottom, huh? there's something greater. Hallelujah. That kind of most shot. Hallelujah. This, his greatness is able to keep you from falling. Yeah. Yeah. Not, 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 not notice what it says. Keep you from falling. Yeah. Hallelujah. You, if, you, if you're toddling and weevling like a weevil wobble, hallelujah. Uh, he's the one that's keeping you from falling. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. My God. Lord, help me up in here. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes when you get so attached to Jesus and you and that anointing fall on you, you feel like you're going to bust, uh, bust open sometimes. Hallelujah. Why? Because you tapped into him. Uh, hallelujah. You tapped into his glory. You tapped into his anointing. Hallelujah. When you tap into his anointing, you tap into the essence hallelujah, of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Hey, hallelujah. Uh, when you tap into it. Yes, sir. Hey, hallelujah. And he wants you to tap into it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because he knows that's where your strength is coming from. Yeah. Uh, that's why he makes himself available. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, just give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. All right, where we have Pastor Doug? Hey, you want me to read it again? Yes, please. Unto me, who am less than the least of all saints, uh -huh. is this grace given? Yes. That I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. Now notice he used the word preach. Preach. Because uh, uh, the Bible says it's the foolishness of preaching. That's right. Amen. That, that pleases God. Amen. And through that foolishness of preaching, it's the power of God unto salvation. Yes. Amen. Yeah. So now I understand why I teach preach. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. But but it's the preaching. Jesus said this: the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He hath anointed me to what? Preach. Amen. Preach the what? The gospel. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's what Paul is saying: preach this gospel. Preach it. Be instant in season and out of season. Amen. Reprove and rebuke. With all long suffer. Yeah. Am I right? That's right? Thank you, Lord. If you you ain't preaching unless you're talking about Jesus. That's right. You follow me? Amen. You can talk about concepts. You can talk about faith. Hallelujah. Amen. But if you ain't talking about Jesus, uh, who is the concept? Right. Who is the faith? Uh, you ain't preached. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You know, uh, I'm gonna hit on my preachers uh, just for a moment. That's listening to me. Uh, when I listen, I listen to you when you preach it, uh, and, I, and, I, and I know if you've been reading the Bible or you've been reading the newspaper <laughs> or you've been watching the news or, or, or watching uh, the soap operas because, because what you talk about, uh, that's what you're going to be preaching about. And if, and if you've been uh, reading about Jesus, you're going to preach about him. <laughs> only, only what's in you going to come out. 
released all that power and at least all of that to us in this dispensation. Yeah. Amen? Uh, Y'all understand what I'm saying? Hallelujah. My God. The, the people, they, they feared death. Huh? They feared death. And that's why uh, the Bible says a lot of them died in the wilderness. Yeah. Huh? And, and when, since the revelation of Jesus comes to us, we know we don't fear death. Amen? Hallelujah. Y'all with me? Uh, why? Because that, because God has released that, that revelation which gives us power. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I hope you're understanding what I'm saying. Uh, through Jesus, uh, that, that, that which God had held up now is released uh, to, to give us strength, to cause us to walk. Amen? To cause us to believe. Amen? Hallelujah. We got we got we got power over the devil. They didn't they don't they didn't have power like we have over the devil. Amen. Thank you, Lord. They didn't they didn't have access to God like we have access to God. They had to go to God once a year for their sins. Huh? Hallelujah. But now God has released some power where we can go anytime, any moment. Huh? To, for, uh, uh, for us to get our sins taken care of. Y'all yes. with me? Yes. Hallelujah. We, they didn't have the Holy Ghost huh, abiding in them. No. Hallelujah. It, it moved upon them. Yes. But God has released us that power. Yes. Huh? Now, he said, you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Yes. And that Holy Ghost that is in you is your comforter. Uh, you can be touched uh, with the feelings of your infirmity. Yes. Uh, at moment. Hallelujah. We got that access. Yes. Uh, that, that was hid before, but now it's revealed to us and God has released it so that we can walk in it. Yes. Hallelujah. Y'all with me? Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. I'm trying to make it plain. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. We're somebody. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My God. All right, read. Where we at, Pastor? Verse 11. Uh-huh. According to the eternal purpose which he purposed in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Now notice, God releases all of this, this anointing according to his eternal purpose. Yes. Uh, God has an eternal purpose for you. Yes. God had an eternal purpose for for his son Christ Jesus. Yes. Amen. Yes. And that purpose that he put in Christ. Is the same purpose. That he puts in you. Yes. So that you can connect to his purpose. Mm -hmm. Amen. The scripture says. As many as received him. To what? Them gave he what? Wow. Power to become the sons of God. Wow. When you receive Jesus. You have to be transformed. Wow. When you receive yes. Jesus. You have to be yes. renewed. Uh, there's, there's no answers and there's some buts about it. Uh, it's, it's something that happens. It's something that's automatic. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. My God, you can't help yourself. Uh, you can't help yourself but praise Him. You can't help yourself but worship Him. Uh, why? Because that's what's in Jesus. Uh, that's what's in your Savior. Uh, you can't help yourself. Pick yourself up. Um, you can't help but pick yourself up. Why? Because that's what's in Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Um, you can't help but be a conqueror. That's right. um, because that's what's in Jesus. Amen. What's in Jesus is in you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. My God. Lord, help me here today. Thank you, thank you Lord. And I thank God for it. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You. You can be sensitive, God, because Jesus is sensitive. Amen? Uh, you can have compassion. Why? Because Jesus had compassion. And, 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 and your love becomes pure. Your faith becomes pure. Why? Because his faith is pure. Uh, his love is pure. Amen? Hallelujah. My God. My God. That's, that's what gives you power when people do you wrong uh, to, to not get revenge. Huh? Because, huh? because, because your nature, our old nature, uh, want to get at people, mm -hmm. Amen. But, but you ever uh, was in a situation where you wanted to say something but you couldn't? 
Huh? That's Jesus. Huh? Holding you tight. <laughs> Thank God, man. Now you gotta let him. <laughs> Amen. You gotta let him. Tell your neighbor you gotta let him. <laughs> you gotta let him. Amen. Hold you down. All right, read. Where we at? Jesus. Lord well, Lord. What verse we in? Twelve. All right, go ahead, Pastor. In whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him. Now notice. Notice. We have boldness and we have what? Access. All right. Access into his power. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. The scripture says you can come boldly to the throne of grace. Yeah. Yeah. Don't forsake your help. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. uh, with, with confidence. Yeah. Amen? I'm confident uh, of what we have in Jesus. Mm -hmm. When you study his word, it gives you that confidence. Mm -hmm. When you study the word of God, it gives you that faith. Mm -hmm. Faith cometh by hearing, hearing. and that by by the word of God. Amen. Amen. Right. Say, so how can you hear without a what? Preacher. I'm your preacher. Amen. Right. How can you hear without a preacher? Mm -hmm. uh, and how can he, you, he, he preach except he be what? Sin. Sin. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So you're in a good place. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And I'm saying that with all acceptation, mm -hmm. with all humility. You're in a good place. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Uh, because God has put you in a place where you can hear the word yes. so you can be built up. Amen. Amen. Amen? And he's put you in a place where you can have access. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen? Access to him. Mm -hmm. huh? so, so notice what he says. I want y'all to catch it. Come boldly. Mm -hmm. Come with confidence. Mm -hmm. Don't come, uh, uh, well, I don't know if God's going to hear me today. Mm -hmm. I did so much. Ah. Uh, uh, no. Don't do that. Huh? Come. Am I right? Come. He made a way for you. Come. He saw everything you did. <laughs> I'm going to say this. He was there when you did it. <laughs> so he, he don't want you to just stay there. He wants you to come. Amen. You know why he wants you to come? Uh -huh. Because he has so much in Jesus. Yes. Amen. It's like if y'all y'all got children and you want your children to succeed so much. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Don't you? Yeah. Uh, if you're a good parent and you're in your right mind, yeah. you, you want your child to succeed. You're not jealous. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. You want your child to succeed. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. And and God. Uh, wants Jesus Christ to succeed. Amen? Mm -hmm. To accomplish. To succeed in you. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, for this cause was I made manifest. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen? Amen? He's here for you. Yeah. Am I right? Do we believe that? Yeah. So come. Yes. Huh? He did, Jesus said in this up, come unto me. Mm -hmm. All you that labor and are what? Yeah. And I will do what? Rest, rest, rest from your labor. Yeah. Rest from your worries. Rest from your pain. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. He'll give it to you, won't he? Yeah. Thank you. He's a comforter, isn't he? Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Where we at? Where we at, Pastor? 13. All right, read what's said. Wherefore I desire that you faint not at my tribulations for you, uh -huh. which is your glory. Now, notice. He's saying there, telling the saints, as it goes back to verse number one, he don't want you to faint in, at, at his tribulation. Amen? Because Paul realized that he was a minister sent to the Gentiles. And Paul suffered a lot because of his ministry. Amen? And uh, Paul was telling the people, look, uh, don't trip about what I'm going through because I'm going through this for you. Amen? To help you. Amen? Thank you, Lord. And uh, that's a good ministry. Yes. Am I right? Yeah. Hallelujah. Now, read what it said. So then now Paul is, is, is turning his heart toward praying now. He's actually praying uh, at this point. And let's look at his prayer. What does he say? 14. Uh -huh. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, for what cause? 
Amen. For the preaching of the gospel. So that you can be transformed. So that you can be helped. Amen. God wants us to pray, bow our knees for people. Pray for people to be helped. Amen. Pray for people to be transformed. Amen. Y'all should pray for this ministry that this, this labor won't be in vain. Amen. Uh, pray for your pastor. That your pastor won't go crazy. <laughs> uh, keep his mind. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So, so, that, so, that, so that we can be effective in what we do. Am I right? Hallelujah. Let's pray for one another. Amen. Uh, bow our knees how often? Daily. daily. You got to bow your knees daily. You ought to pray daily. Amen. 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 Paul said, for this cause, for the ministry, uh, that, uh, for the calling that is on my life. Amen. Ooh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Uh, for the calling that God has put on your life, you ought to bow your knees daily so that you can be effective. Amen. Amen. So that you can walk worthy of that which God has called you, that vocation. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So that, so that people can get saved. So people can get help. Amen. So that God will give you the strength. Not, my God, not only the strength, but the resources. Amen. Amen? To help others. You follow? Yeah. He'll supply them on yeah. Hallelujah. Didn't he? Isn't that what the scripture said? Yeah. He supplied everything you need that pertains unto what? Life and godliness. Paul said, for this cause, I bow my knees daily. Uh, uh, unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Read. Of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. Amen. Uh, there's, there, there's, uh, the Bible talks about, uh, talk about the name of Jesus, and that name, uh, there's no other name given under heaven whereby men must be what? Saved. And what name is that? Jesus. Jesus. Amen. And at the name of Jesus, every knee is going to bow, every tongue going to confess, Things in heaven, things on earth, and things beneath the earth. And they're going to confess that Jesus Christ is what? Lord. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. So it's better for us to do it now. Amen. Uh, he's our Lord. And Lord means what? Ruler. Well, come on here, teachers. Amen. Ruler. Amen. Is he ruling over your life? Uh, is he in charge over your life? Have you submitted to his authority? Hallelujah. Is he high and lifted up? Hallelujah. Yeah, glory. Hallelujah. Lift up your head. All ye gates. Hallelujah. In the kingdom glory, he what? He shall come in. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. Thank you, Lord. So that if he's your Lord, then automatically you got to do the things that he says. Am I right? That's what it means. You got to submit. Submit to his will. Am I right? Amen. All right, read. I'm cutting your throat easy. That's why I keep asking you. <laughs> All right, read. That he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, uh -huh. to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. Now that's what God wants through Christ Jesus. Uh -huh. if, 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 you, if, you, if you submit, amen, God will grant you according to the riches of his glory. Not, not according to your riches, right. but the riches of his glory. Yes. Amen? To be strengthened with what? With might by his spirit. And see that spirit there is, a, is capitalized, which means the Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen? Yeah. He wants you to be strengthened with the Holy Ghost in the inward man. Yeah. The right. inward man is your soul. Yeah. Amen, my God. Oh, that's your soul. Yeah. Wherein that's, That gives you the will and the purpose. Amen? To do everything that you need to do. Amen? You got to talk to your soul. Amen? Uh, you got to encourage your soul. Am I right? Uh, that's that inward man. That, that, that's, that, that's what gives you the, the, the unction and the power, the will to live. Amen? Hallelujah. And that, and that strength can come through the Spirit, the Holy Ghost. That's right. Amen? Read. What does it say? That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. Now notice, don't forget that this is a prayer. 
And we ought to pray. Lord, dwell in my heart by faith. Amen? The anointing, Christ, uh, dwell in my heart. Jesus, dwell in my heart by faith. Amen? That word dwell, it means to abide, reside. Amen? Live. <laughs> you want Christ to live in your heart. Abide in your heart. He said, if my word abide in, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you should what? Ask what you will and it what? Shall be. Amen? Abide. Amen? Dwell. Remain. We want Jesus to abide in our heart. Amen? Notice, he said abide in your mind. Abide in your heart. That's the seat of your affection. Amen. That's where you make all your decisions. Uh, that's where your will is. That's where your intellect is. Uh, that's where your affections are. <laughs> Y'all with me? Oh, hallelujah. Very glory. If Jesus is controlling all that, you ain't got, you ain't got no room to sin. Uh, no room to turn back. No room for unbelief. Uh, hallelujah. Very glory. Hallelujah. Anointed. You can believe all things. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. You can go through all things. Am I right? Yes. Hallelujah. So you got to pray that. Yes. Amen. That's what Paul is teaching us right now. We got to pray for this. This is not natural. Amen. Huh? You got to pray for it. Thank God, God, God. Lord Jesus, dwell in my heart. Yes. Abide in my heart. And when he said heart, notice, it's your will. Your intellect, your emotions, your desires. Amen? Uh, your all in all. Good Lord. Hallelujah. Read. What does it say? That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. Uh -huh. That ye being rooted and grounded in love. Now here we go. Paul wants you to be rooted and grounded. What? In what? In love. In love. In love. Amen. Why? Why do you say love? Love bears all things. Love hopes all things. Love endures all things. Uh, uh, where there's faith, hope, and charity. What's the greatest? Love. love. Charity. Amen. God is love. Am I right? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So he wants you to be rooted and grounded in God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let him dwell in your heart. Uh, uh, and that comes through faith. Uh, and the Holy Ghost uh, uh, gives you that love that abides in your heart. Hallelujah, my God. Hallelujah, my God. God wants you to be enriched uh, by his love. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. My God, my God. So when things happen, you don't understand the love of God. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. Uh, and you realize that all things work together for good. Why? Because you love God. Uh, and that you are the call according to his purpose. Uh, never forget, beloved, you're called by God. Hallelujah. Uh, and you've been bought with a price. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. My God. Who am I talking to here today? Uh, you be encouraged. Uh, you, you allow God's love to abide in you. Yes, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Uh, you, then you'll endure everything. Hallelujah. You'll hope for everything. Hallelujah. And it's shut abroad in your heart. The love of God is shut abroad in your heart by the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Ghost. Uh, just asking for it. Uh, if you don't have it now, you can get the Lord to fill me with your Holy Ghost. Uh, and the love of God will fill you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And it's got to dwell in your heart. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 What verse are we in? All right, read. What does it say? May be able to comprehend with all saints. Now notice, notice. He's setting this up. 
He's setting this up. He wants you to be able, <laughs> as much as you can, comprehend with all saints right. the love of God. Mm -hmm. Right? So he's getting ready to talk about the love of God and how vast it is. Read, what does he say? May be able to comprehend with all saints uh -huh. Uh -huh. what is the breadth yeah. and length yeah. and depth uh -huh. and height. And height. And height. <laughs> Read. And to know the love of Christ. Now notice, he wants you to know the love of Christ. Amen. It's 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 the uh, 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 you got. He wants you to be able to understand with all saints what is the breadth, yes. huh? What is the length? Mm -hmm. What is the depth, mm -hmm. huh? And what is the height? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And and what he's what he's trying to say here is is that his love is unsearchable, yeah. huh? Yeah. It's unfathomable to us. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And you'll never exhaust it. Uh, so, 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 so he's saying that when you are, are, are going through, when you are, are fighting this good fight, uh, God will reveal more of his love toward you and you just try to understand it. <laughs> you just receive it. Uh, you just comprehend it. Hallelujah. Because what he's given to you is, 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 is precious. It's valuable. Hallelujah. That's, that's why uh, Christ came to help us to understand uh, what God has done for us. Yes. Uh, and, and, and our minds are so finite. Mm -hmm. Our minds are so limited. We won't ever be able to comprehend. It. No. We won't be able to understand. It. No. Hallelujah. But, but know that it's great. Mm -hmm. Know that it's mighty. Yes. Know that it's, it's, it's enduring. Mm -hmm. know, that, know that it's valuable. Know that it's precious. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. This thing is so precious. Even the Old Testament prophets were searching and trying to find out. Huh? The, the angels were saying, God, what, what is man that you are so mindful of him? Huh? Or the son of man that you even visited him? Hallelujah. They wanted to know, God, why? Hallelujah. Why? The, the reason why is because Christ in you huh? is the hope of glory. Hallelujah, because God, God, God put all of his eggs in one basket. Uh, and that one basket is Jesus Christ. And when you receive Jesus Christ, you are more than a conqueror. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, you be translated. Uh, you are somebody. Uh, you are precious. Uh, hallelujah. Don't let the enemy trick you. Don't let the enemy fool you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, read what he said. 19. Uh -huh. And to know the love of Christ. He wants you to know the love. Which passes knowledge. Now notice, this love that Jesus has for you, it passes knowledge. We don't know why he hung on that cross. No. Uh, I'm glad he hung on that cross. Yeah. Hallelujah. That, and, they, and I like what the Mississippi Mass say. It wasn't the nails uh, that held him. It was love that held him uh, to that cross. Because he could have came down at any moment. He could have called down legions of angels. And they would have fought for him. Uh, but he said, nevertheless, uh, not my will, what? But thy will be done. Yeah, God, I'm so glad he did. Hey, I'm so glad he died. I'm so glad he rose again. I'm so glad he's ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. I'm so glad he's making intercession. I'm so glad he can be touched with the feelings of our infirmity. I'm so glad that he went to prepare a place for us. I'm so glad. Hey, hallelujah. So glad. Uh, aren't you glad? Thank you, Jesus. I'm so glad he defeated the devil. Hallelujah. I'm so glad. Read what he said. We about love done. The love of Christ, mm -hmm. which passes knowledge, yes. that you might be filled with all the fullness of God. Now that's what God wants you. He wants you to be filled with all the fullness of God. Hallelujah. To be filled with all the fullness of God. Yes. Amen? Amen? When you're filled with all the fullness of God, you're literally being led by the Holy Ghost. When the Bible talks about being full of the Holy Ghost, 
It's talking about you you're submitting yourself <laughs> to the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you submit yourself to the Holy Ghost, it leads you. Uh, it guides you. to us today. We thank God for you that you've uh, tuned in and we'll have opportunity to give through our tithely and we want you to give and tune in to us on Sunday. Amen. Where we can worship God in spirit and in truth. One more time. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen.